Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Agile IT Tech Talk. I am your host, Sean Spicer, and this is a special Tech Talk because this is my final project for Microsoft Security and Compliance CIE Bootcamp. Today, I'm going to be going over Compliance Manager um, because over and over again, I find people that have no idea this tool exists in their environment. Um, and they're struggling with compliance and they've got this amazing tool. This is available in all of the E5 suites as well as available as a compliance add-on uh, to E3. Um, let's get started. I've only got six minutes and I tend to talk too much. All right, so to begin with, we're just gonna start off right here in our Office 365 portal. We're gonna jump over to admin now, if you haven't accessed this before, it may not be too visible, but we're gonna go show all in admin, admin centers. You may have to, again, show more admin centers, but here is the compliance center. So this is the compliance center dashboard. This gives you a 30,000 foot view of your compliance state. Just like secure score, you've got your total compliance score, which takes all of your controls into one place shows you the total number of controls and the number of controls met. Then tying in with Cloud App Security, you've got some uh, Cloud App um, overview so you can see which of your uh, apps are compliance or compliant and meet the regs. Users that are sharing files, retention labels, identification of high-risk apps, any data loss policy matches, third-party DLP policy matches. This is if somebody's sharing outside of your nominal uh, Office 365 Cloud, how many files are publicly shared in your environment, how many high-risk apps there are, and one active alert. Um, I've already tried to do this once in six minutes, so I cannot go in here and show you Cloud App Security, but we do have a really good tech talk um, done in the past uh, about those controls, and I'm gonna have links to those in the description down below. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys how to add and manage your control frameworks. Um, so, I've already done this once before. In the interest of speed, we're just gonna add one this time. We're gonna create a new group, Dove Compliance 2. Next, we do not wanna copy any existing data. We are evaluating Office 365, and we are going to go for FedRAMP Moderate. We're gonna add that to the dashboard. Now you'll see with each of these tiles, you have an individual compliance score. And, of course, once you hit FedRAMP, 4,037 controls. Now, the great thing about Microsoft and Office 365 is that this is a shared responsibility. Um, Microsoft has a number of controls that are implemented within the platform that you don't have to worry about, but they're still documented. So if you have to have that kind of information in your POEM or any sort of compliance uh, documentation, it's there. So after we've clicked into the control, or into the framework, we can see the individual controls. Now, this first row, the Office 365 InScope Cloud Services, gives you an inventory of all of the applications that are covered by these policies. Um, and of course, you see everything from Microsoft Intune, Office 365 Cloud App Security, Power BI, so all of your standards here. Um, now, what you don't see is Microsoft Word, and that's because most of that falls under Cloud App Security and Azure Information Protection, which protects across the entire Microsoft 365 substrate. Now, earlier I mentioned that it's a shared responsibility model. We can look here and see the Microsoft Managed Controls, 100 access controls alone here in FedRAMP. So we click and we can expand that out. So the way each of these controls is formatted, you have a quick overview, shows you what your compliance score is, the status, when it was tested, and who it was tested by. Now for your customer controls that you control, I'll be able to show you a little bit more there in a second. But if you click, you can get a much deeper view of what the test plan was, how it was audited, and <clears throat> what the full text of the controls are. Um, now this is nice to look at because of course Microsoft has already managed all of these for you so they're already assessed. But let's look at customer managed controls and how we work with those. So here we've got access controls. And that's always a big one. Um, if you've done any work with us you know that we immediately start out with identity and that comes down to access. So let's start here right at the top. So we've got control AC1 
alpha 1. And quick explanation here. Look at more. It's got the customer actions we'll need to take. It's pretty in depth here. It also has links to documentation, um, any add on tools you may need. Now, you don't have to do this all yourself. You can go ahead and assign. In this case, we're going to assign it to Alan D. Young, who is our IT admin. We're going to set it as high priority because we only have about a minute left before the end of the video. So do it fast. <laughs> now, in the interest of doing things fast, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Alan, who's hanging out here in, in uh, Outlook already. We're going to look at a prior email. This is the notification that comes across. Um, so this was for a different control, but certification troll, control. You've got the note that was included. You can click right here to go to your service trust portal. It doesn't take you right there for some reason, but you can click through to compliance manager. We don't need to take the tour. Down here we have our FedRAMP moderate. Customer managed controls. There we go. You can see that it's been assigned to Alan. And now, as Alan, we can come in here and we can change the status to implemented. Set the date for today. Set the test date for today. and then give the test result as passed. And it's all automatically saving. Now, before I mentioned the importance of this for people moving to GCC and GCC High, the Compliance Manager is not available in GCC High, but it's still a very valuable tool as you plan your migration into the Secure Government Cloud. We're going to go ahead now and export to Excel. Now this can take a minute, so what I've already done is I've got the controls here for ISO 27001 so you can see what that export looks like. So we've got the Inscope Cloud Service, Microsoft Managed Controls, here is the documentation on all of those controls as you saw it in Compliance Manager. And then here are the Customer Managed Controls. Now you can go ahead, set this document someplace where it can be worked on collaboratively, use all of those existing uh, Office 365 Pro Plus to co-author, get in here, and you can continue to manage all of your compliance from this document, work with other tools, um, and yeah, it can inform your POAM, it can form uh, be the basis of any audit controls or audit reports you need to run. But in a nutshell, that is Compliance Manager, part of Microsoft 365. Thanks for joining us. And as always, you can see the recap down below as long with, along with links to some blogs and some relevant tech talks. Thanks a lot and have a great day.